at high school, uh, being a, a, a young woman of African descent and, uh, and, uh, and actually for finally passing math and science, I was, I was, I was interested in getting into engineering. And that was my passion. And the, the, the idea of that was to get into engineering so that I could make the money and do community development work, specifically international development work, going back home. Um, and the reality was, one, um, the racism that existed in our school system. Um, the guidance counselors didn't think that I was actually smart enough to, to get into advanced classes. Back then, we had advanced and OAC and all that stuff. And, uh, and, uh, and right now, we have academic and applied. Same thing. So I was put in uh, advanced class, uh, I mean, um, general classes. That's what they were, uh, they were called. Um, from general classes, it wasn't until a teacher who pulled me out and said, what are you doing in my class? And I was like, what do you mean? I'm here in school. I'm excited. What are you talking about your class? She's like, this is a general class. There's actually an academic class. And I think you're supposed to be in an academic class. When I went to the guidance counselor, the guidance counselor said, no. No, you cannot get into that class. So I spent the entire year of high school dealing with general classes um, to finish all those general classes, ESL classes, in order for me to go back again to grade 10 academic classes. So I lost a year. Uh, and, and this is not something that only newcomers uh, experience. A lot of first, second, third generation uh, young people, especially of African descent, Latino, uh, um, you name it, any person of color, um, goes through this and, until today, 2015. And this is something that I, I want to share this story because it's really important because it, it really impacts our young children. Um, being an educator, I see it in our elementary schools. Our young people start getting sort of like labeled and targeted and the transition to the so-called uh, um, applied sort of like stream starts when they're in grade six, grade seven, grade eight. So as parents, especially being newcomer parents, you need to be aware of these things for your children. Uh, a lot of parents are not aware of this and this is one, one sort of like story that I wanted to just sort of like share quickly. One quick thing, what could you do when you go home be, be, be pay to so much attention on your child's education because that is where we start losing our young people. Community organizing, because that's one thing that I do uh, and I love it and I'm learning, I'm not an expert. Um, it's something that I believe it's innately in us. Uh, one thing is we have a lot of things in common yet we forget what our commonalities are and we get caught up with the differentiation. Um, especially when you're dealing with this society where it's so easy to be divided through ethnically, um, through classism, and all this sort of like thing. So, for example, the African diasporic people, or as black people, we always, you know, oh, that's a black people's issue. Really, the black people's issue is your issue if you're not black. And I think this is where, this is where we need to talk about it, especially being people of color, people coming from different parts around the world, but also dealing with our own First Nations people here. Because um, oppression comes in many forms, however, at the same time, it affects us all. We're very resourceful people. I think um, when, when people are talking about innovation and social innovation, we are the innovators, and I think we're always left behind um, when it comes to the conversations about social innovation and innovating and new ideas and solving our own issues. We can solve our issues. The question is, are those, pe are those who are in power ready to hear our solutions? Are they ready to actually move forward what it is that we're proposing? So these are some of the things. So we have the resources, and it was tapping into the resources by our communities, by our community leaders, but also in terms of using the media um, on our side.